NFL football has come to Southern Nevada as we are in the menacing new Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line with the Los Angeles Chargers. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Now a play fake here on first down. And oh, right away, he lost the football. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Defense had a chance to get off the field here. The opening drive couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Carter completes it, and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Shotgun now for Carr. To the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the rookie, his intended target. That'll bring up second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. To throw again. Carr, a roller taking it in over the middle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. On the ground, this is Jared Rashard, and he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Turnover. Oh, trying to be bold on the opening drive of the game, but that effort... It proves futile. How many times have we talked with coaches where they've talked about taking the emotion out of their decision-making? I think that opening drive, if he didn't have it in his head to go for it before, I think that keyed into it. They were doing so well, and he decided to really establish something there. They didn't get it. Now they've got to make sure that they don't lose their focus. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 41-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Out of the gun, Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for Mike Williams that time. And it's third and five. 
Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And he comes back with one complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. On first down, it's Herbert looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, 42 yards. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Long now will kick it away following the touchdown. Jalen Richard now on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. At the 38-yard line. to Rashad and a 42 yard line here and brought down there four yards the pick up first down second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble isn't it open up the playbook go play action toss that bad boy deep but in this situation go ahead and give it to your back let him pick up a first down keep the sticks moving on the ground Rashard and he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. He was tackled. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll throw with Carr. He'll find his running back. It's Jalen Richard. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. First we often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Gets this inside the 35-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. I thought when Josh Jacobs was coming out of the University of Alabama, he was an absolutely perfect fit for John Gruden's offense with the Raiders. And it turned out, in this case, I was absolutely right. Led the NFL rookies in rushing a year ago. 1,150 yards. In fact, 
the only rookie to top the diving yard barrier. And this kid is a workhorse who can carry the football in any situation and catch it out of the backfield. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First and 10 at the 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Carr. That's caught by Waller out left side. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. It's a game that will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Chargers 10-yard line. Facing a second and three. Ball on the 10. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And good pursuit yet again by the Chargers as they stuff him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And this is going to be intercepted. Good job by Casey Hayward. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll take over. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and ten at their own 20-yard line. They'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. The ball carrier. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Now second and seven from the 23. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Toss play to Belange. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Joshua Kelly is running back, the intended target, and it's third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. Number 28, Josh Jacobs. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Aguilar, the 
intended receiver, and it's third down. Complete. Now he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, it's Carr. was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. The Devils going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. First carry now for Joshua Kelly, the former Bruin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Chargers seven, Raiders nothing. Now Balazs. He won't go down, past the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Not only an explosive play, but an explosive run. I mean, broken tackles along the way to pick up that yardage. The way things kept churning for him, feet were moving, the legs were driving. Looks like someone who spent his offseason working on hill work, running through sand, all the things that you want to build up those leg muscles. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. He's taken down Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings they went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Here's Herbert down on second down. That's complete to his running back, Joshua Kelly. And after the nice stiff arm, the next wave swarms in quickly for the stop. A gain of four on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. It's a nice second effort we just saw there. So I'm trying to get to the end zone, but a lot of times near the goal line, that second effort can lead to disaster. Make sure you hold on to the football because there's going to be guys swarming when you're carrying it. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. The Raider defense strong on that one. 
coverage, and now it's fourth. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. Here's Kelly on fourth down. And this winds up a disaster. Nowhere near the marker. On fourth and goal, Kelly stopped up. And the Raiders hang tough down near the goal line. Throwing on first down is Carr. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. Two yards the loss, second and 12. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. On second and 12, Carr. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 12 yards there and a first down. There's so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Jacobs now. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A seven well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. To throw its car. And he's got the hookup to Rose. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 40. A gain there of 21 yards. One of the selling points of the in route is against the quarterback, a really nice sight line to his receiver, and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And some room to run now. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They run it with Jacobs. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. On first and 10, here's Carr. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Throwing again. Carr. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the
at the 26-yard line. Melvin Ingram credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost just... And now the ball's out. Carl lost it. And picked up by the Chargers. He's at the 40. The 20. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's return for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, well the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. And it's good to make it 14-0. Makes the score. Chargers, 14. Raiders, nothing. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Here comes Richard on the return. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Carr. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Kelly. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. On second down, here's Herbert. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Complete Give him 14 on that one and a first down. 
And the that tight end position, down. it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Well, here's a first down throw that's complete. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. Four yards remain for second down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. That's caught by Kelly. And he goes out right around the 39. Right to Joshua Kelly. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Herbert throwing again. And that would be incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Here's Ty Long now as he's on to punt for L.A. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. This is taken at the 15. Just a net of 34 there, following a punt of 44 yards. And the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. These guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. The throw over the middle, taken in. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A gain of six there on first. Brings up second and four at the 43-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. From the gun, Carr. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? <laughs> Operating from the gun, Carr. Got his connection complete to Rhodes. They hit me out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion for an offense that has not found the end zone yet that's a big play there's the spark right there the big play that they needed now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone so the big play changes the complexion of things here's first and 10 just outside the 30 that's complete to Richard the running back now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Shotgun now for Carr. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Melvin Ingram able to drop him that time for 
his second sack of the evening. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. conversion so we have reached halftime intermission with the visiting chargers on top as we are off to orlando now to check in with jonathan coachman at our ea sports halftime report coach all right coach thank you and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three returning it johnson and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll throw from the gun. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. Herbert's pass. A gain of six there on first. Keenan Allen. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 35-yard line. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Herbert now. Allen's got it. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down, Los Angeles. They'll run here with Balazs. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 47. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. I have a few questions about that throw because, to me, there just wasn't a lot there. I thought he tried to do a little bit too much, almost tried to will a receiver open when there was no chance he was going to be. Nice job by the linebacker being all over that one and knocking it away. Back to the air. Herbert on second down. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And a throw there going to be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Here's Ty Long now as he's on to punt for L.A. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. 
So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Car now on first down. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Complete to Josh Jacobs. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 28-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Running is Jacobs. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. A tackle by Nick Vigil. A gain of a yard. Brings up third and one. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Once again, it's Jacobs. And some space here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give them a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. They go play action here on first down. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. They'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, the are going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. This complete left side to Aguilar. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. First down. But look what we have here. A sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. On first down, Carr. They'll find his running back here, Richard. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Josh Jacobs. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Carr. This is caught. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sideline. And he is in! Touchdown, right Josh Jacobs taking it in. And the Raiders have cut it back to within a score. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. at 14 to 7. Is good. Makes the score. Chargers 14. Raiders 7.
touchdown. Ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here comes Johnson on the return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Chargers offense back onto the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Looking for Allen, he's got him on the slam. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up second. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Balage. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Wide open, it's Allen complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. They all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 34. They run it with Balazs. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And it's third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Out of the gun, Herbert. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage. And now it's fourth. And that is too far out in front. He couldn't haul it in. Incomplete. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Badgley able to punch this one through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Long 
converted the field goal. Now he handles the kickoff duties. Here comes Richard on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Raiders offense ready to go. Well, I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 26. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. The tackle goes there to Linval Joseph. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense, it's really kind of geared to stop that play. Your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Down pickup of 18 yards. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. Car now on first down. And trying to get it to Rams, but it's intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Badgley on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Makes the score. Chargers 24, Raiders 7. Time on, set to so they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. To Nelson Aguilar. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Up second and five at the 29-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. Seven yards there and a first down. That's good for a Las Vegas. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. the gun. Carr. Reception here by Ruggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him a first down. 15 yards that time for the Raiders. At the 49-yard line. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Again, it's Carr. 
That's caught by Walter out left side. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. On first and ten, here's Carr. That's complete to Richard, the running back. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Car to throw again. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. Incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now, Carr again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Carr now on third and goal. So now, fourth and goal, you're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. A 25-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will close the gap down to 14. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still got to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. six-yard line just across the 25. L.A. readies for its next possession. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And right side, Henry's got it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they 
gave yardage and didn't get it back. Now he will have a first down here at about the 40. Herbert hooking up with Henry that time for the Charger first. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Flag comes out, and that's because the offense did not get the playoff in time. And you can see the head coach, he is not happy. Everyone getting away from him right now because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. A shotgun snap for Herbert, and his throw is going to be incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Second and 15. And he'll give it here to his running back. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. Third. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Third and long, it's Herbert. Allen has it, left side. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. complete. I call it no gain there on the first down play. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. And for the third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser Wright, and he will bring this down inside the ten and the eight-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Steps away to his left. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. take it all the way down and just take the delay. Now flags, and we're going to get a delay of game. How crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Charger 
Packers touchdown. To number a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Long now will kick it away following the touchdown. Here comes Richard on the return. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 33-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Carr. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. Start backs him up five, first and 15. From the gun, Carr. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. But without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. And passing yardage wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. From midfield, here's Carr. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. A Raider first down, Carter Renfro. Las Vegas. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. <laughs> Car now on first down. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. 
Carr able to find Ruggs. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Out of bounds at the 22-yard line. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Again, they'll throw with Carr. That's into the hands of Edwards. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's caught. Darren Waller, the intending receiver. And now it's second down. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's gonna have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. To throw again, Carr. His pass caught at the four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Here's Carr to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. Carr to throw for it on fourth down. And that is caught. It's runs. Touchdown, Vegas. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Raiders get a score closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, you know. Doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. chances of getting that done slim and none and I do believe we saw slim just leave the door didn't we we did indeed I think we're down to none they'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground the Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play and now out on the field here comes Los Angeles Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Go, 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 
They'll stay on the ground. Balazs again. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Now on is the punter long here as he sends this one away. And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. So Derek Carr in the offense. Down by two touchdowns, a little over a minute and a half remaining. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. On first down, Carr. He'll find his running back here, Richard. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. It's a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. A short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. And he's got the hookup to Rhodes. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and 10 at the 20 yard line. And we've reached the one minute mark in this game. Car now on first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That goes for a gain of 31. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Throwing again. Carr, he's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. And 10. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. Again, it's Carr. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this 
football game. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And I know I'm not breaking any news when I say that any road win in this league is a good one. No doubt. But it's a double bonus when you get a victory on the road in your division. And when you start a season... Each team breaks down their schedule in different ways. Some do it every four games, right? Let's go quarterly. Others say, listen, we've got to take care of our home field. And, you know, out of a 16-game season, if you get eight at home, let's at least win seven at home and split our road games. That's what you're trying to get done. So you're exactly right. A road win, precious, especially within the division. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Las Vegas.